Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a houseplant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you an experiment where I grow three different sets of cuttings that are grown exactly the same. They have the same number of leaves. They were grown, they were water propagated at the same exact time in the same exact conditions. So they're exactly, I would say the right size. So this test is actually quite unbiased. So I want to grow one in natural light, which is daylight here. And I want to grow one in your household LED light bulb. And the last one I'm going to be growing in a grow light that is dedicated for plants. Now without getting too sciencey because I'm not a light expert so I'm not going to get there. Please do not DM me to ask me about strength, about you know the brands or about how, how many watts you need and all that good stuff. I really don't know much about that. But the, the experiment today, oh my god there's so much banging sound. Um, the experiment today is just going to show you that actually all the methods work pretty much well for your plants but I don't know which one's going to work the best but we're going to figure it out and keep in mind there's many many variables like humidity and also like how many watts and again how close you want the light source to be to your plant and we're not going to get into that today so this is going to be a casual fun video all right this is just a close-up and just to really show you that all of these cuttings are the same size the same amount of roots and I'm going to be randomly putting them in their respective spots which, which I'm going to show you right now. Alright, so I've hotted them up and they got a little bit of pesticide and slow release fertilizer. I made sure to add the same amount of fertilizer and this is going to be grown right out here in the outdoors in bright indirect light. Although this is getting a tiny tiny slither of filtered, not direct sound, but this is filtered light. So this is getting very very good quality light basically. This one here is getting 8 watts of grow light and the science behind grow light is that plants actually don't need the green spectrum in the light because white light is actually a rainbow spectrum so it's basically just an energy efficient way to direct light to your plant so that it absorbs only the, the wavelength that it needs. This is why some of the most uh, conventional grow lights are this purple color. It's hideous though, it looks terrible. And then a few shelves below that, this is, sorry, it's flickering light. This is just your standard fluorescent. Uh, it's actually LED light bulb, it's quite energy saving. So yeah, this is going to be grown in that. And they are grown relatively close to the light source. So I would say that this is getting very, it's flickering really bad. So it's getting really excellent light. So let's see how these setups do. Sorry, this is my trash. You're not supposed to see my trash. And I'm going to start adding more plants here as well, just to see over the next few months how the other plants will grow. But the marker for this test is going to be this philodendron heteraceum. These are the ones that will kind of determine our results. Welcome to a two months update. This is actually the plant that was grown under artificial light. It's actually grown only a little bit compared to the others, which I will show very soon. Uh, but I want to show you some of the others neighbors that just joined in. This is a mycans. It's doing all right. This is a Peperomia quadrangularis. Some, uh, what is this? Calicia repens. It has probably reverted a little bit actually. It's lost a bit of variegation. A Syngonium and some Skindaxis. Again, this light is actually, um, it covers a small area. So in this video, we're not going to be talking about power or how many watts your light is. The strength of the light is not the subject matter in this video or the distance of the light from the plant. This video is only going to show you the effectiveness of grow lights versus LED light versus uh, natural light. So this is the one that was grown in under LED, just a regular household fluorescent LED light. It's actually grown significantly. Let me show you the difference between the two there. So this is under artificial light, uh, the grow lights I mean, this is LED, and let me bring one more over. This one was grown outside in natural light. Surprisingly, I think this one grew the best maybe, if you look at it. This one's just got shinier leaves because they are, they are newer, but this is doing, uh, this, this is the runner I guess. And this final one is the one under grow light. But let me quickly show you the setup here. This is actually very, very, uh, I would say intense, it covers a wider area here, which is probably why it grew uh, a bit more than the one in grow light. But if you increase the light intensity here, you may actually see more growth here. So yeah, I guess this is going to show you that basically all kinds of light works 
for the plants. They're not fussy about it. You don't need to get expensive grow lights that are you know, specific for plants. And, uh, they can do well with any high, uh, light bulbs. And oh my God, it's so hot. I closed all the doors, so I'm like stuffy in here and you can hear my echoes. Um, but yeah, I guess this is what the experiment is showing. Uh, maybe one day I'll experiment with the strength, the watts and all that, but honestly speaking, I'm not interested in that because I like to keep my plant care casual and simple. So as long as my plants are healthy, I'm not burning the leaves and they're growing, uh, I'm happy with it. So I'm not going to be all science nerd about it. But if you want to learn more about PAR and all that stuff, there are a lot of really good accounts to follow and YouTube channels to follow, like Houseplant Journal is very good about the light reading. Yeah. So I guess that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm at Botanist on Instagram. If you want to DM me on any questions regarding plant care and propagations, I'll try my best to get back to you. Meanwhile, do take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next video. Bye.